okay now in a stand mixer i'm going to add the eggs i'll write down the detail and i am going to mix it with dairy then i will add oil I'm going to strain now flour, corn flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, oops, it's going everywhere. Also adding in some nutmeg. And now I'm going to add all this in the mixed egg date oil mixture. Okay, now I have brought the machine here so I can show you properly. I'm going to change this paddle with this paddle because I'm going to add the dry strained flour mixture into this egg mixture. So I'll change it in front of you and I need to clean this a bit. Just um, do it and add it in two or three parts. Always start slow moving the machine because the flour can fly away. Once it's in the batter, wet wet batter, then you can make it fast. mixed batter and now I am going to add carrots and pecans in it. I have roughly chopped, chopped the pecans, small size, adding it in the batter now, uh, in the pan, <laughs> adding the batter in the pan. And some in the other one. So this is the small one that you saw first, then there's a smaller than this one so which is this and I'm using a dish which is size is the same as this pan. So these are the three sizes that I'm using for this cake. As I'm just putting them in the oven, we are going to bake them at 180 for uh, 40 to 45 minutes. making dairy free caramel sauce. This is coconut milk. I'm adding three cans. This is half cup Nesquado sugar. I'm going to taste it and if I need more, I'll add more. Just stir occasionally, uh, keep stirring on low fire and it will become thick so keep in mind that the quantity will reduce just a pinch of salt I did raise the fire so that it starts to boil and once it boiled I brought it to, to low 
fire and I'm adding one fourth cup sugar more, brown sugar, because it wasn't as sweet as the caramel sauce needs to be. Adding one teaspoon vanilla. This is the caramel sauce I was making. It is ready. Uh, the stove is off and now I am just adding this and when it, it will cool down I will add it in the cream cheese sauce. Not all of it, only 150. Moral of the story, whenever you have a recipe, please taste while making it. Making cream cheese sauce, this is butter and cream cheese, going to beat it. brown sugar this is 250 grams I'm going to see how much I need because the caramel sauce I'm making I'm going to mix that also in this and that is also very sweet so I'll just see how much I need one and a half teaspoon vanilla essence not adding this because I've tasted it it's quite sweet so I'm just adding the caramel sauce Just going to mix it and our cream cheese sauce is ready and then I'll spread it on the cake. 